Okay, again, thanks everyone for your time today. Uh, my name is Sean Blenko. I'm CEO and founder of Greenlight Change. So we're a relatively small startup. There's only four of us at the moment. Um, I'm going to talk a bit about uh, Rambo, the first major success in construction. So we've got a we sell a, a service rather than software. So we focus on delivering insight, clear insight in real time, and adaptability for organisations running multiple um, project <coughs> portfolios particularly in construction. So connected planning is a, is, a, is a relatively new market sector and it's actually been trailblazed by a company in the US called Anaplan. Well, they've mainly focused on the finance market, but they've got a good penetration in the Fortune 500 in the US, making massive uh, gr uh, growth gains because they do one thing well, and that is they enable planning and execution across multiple business functions. So we're not talking about a very specific application that works in one part of the business, it goes horizontally. And that, of course, drives better cohesion. So I'm going to start by just putting up there some of the key, key wins we had in, in Rambo. So Rambo, for those who aren't familiar with the company, is 1.2 billion global construction consulting company. They operate in 35 countries, got a portfolio value of around 1.2 billion. And they were struggling with you know, getting that layered reporting, going up from the projects through business units, through group executive board, trying to bring data together from spreadsheets and ERP and three different PBM tools. And that was a problem that we addressed, and we did that in only four months. So that's going from going on site, understanding their requirements, to live in 35 countries with 100% stakeholder engagement. So we all know about agility and the importance of agility. We hear it all the time. Um, and it, it does depend on two things. So we, we need a common data environment. And this is not really the, the BIM concept, this is building above, above BIM. So this is just not, not just BIM data, it's organisational data that we're pulling from different parts of the organisation to support the workflows that are required to manage the portfolio, not just one project. And with that, we also need tools that everyone's familiar with. We know about the engagement problems of trying to force an IT application down, top down, adoption issues, spreadsheets come back out again, we got data back in silos. And that process has repeated itself over, over 20 years. So that's the reality most companies face. Complexity combined with uniqueness. And this is why it's very difficult for a, for a company to procure a tool that's specifically designed for one purpose into their organisation. And, and Phil, I think that's you lighting fires in the bottom right-hand corner there. <laughs> But this is reality, and, and it's been this way for a long time. Now, our mission is to fix this problem in a very unique way. So hands up anybody here who's got environments like that. So a mixture of spreadsheets with IT systems. I see nodding heads, but no one's brave enough to put their hands up. Right. So this is really common. Now these applications, they carry, they carry value. They do something and do it very well, but they don't go cross-functional in many cases. So back to Rambo, where were they? So they had a, they've got a portfolio of about 20,000 projects and they grade them, like most companies do, high being the big projects, you know, 10, 20, 100 million. They're a consulting company, so they don't have uh, earth moving equipment that they actually construct. Um, and then they've got the mediums and the smalls. And those projects are scattered throughout the world. Um, the smaller ones are locally managed, of course, and the big ones tend to get executive oversight because they're high risk, high profile. Um, and there's also much more risk reputational damage if they go wrong. And the key thing is that Rambo wants to be seen for being a high quality provider. They want to be known as being the best in their marketplace. We know that construction is really cost competitive. People bid on price all the time. And Rambo are actually trying to break away from that mode by saying, let's do it better, get a reputation for doing it better, get our brand value up, and people will actually pay a bit more because of the safe pair of hands. They're going to deliver. But they had the same problem as the, as the complex diagram I shared before. So you know, we've got you know, a collection of PPM and ERP tools. They've got three different PPM uh, solutions. And they're acquisitive, right? So they're acquiring companies all the time. So they've got this constant you know, chasing the tail of IT. They bring a new company in. That new company is immediately a silo, separated out from all the others. They've got the connectivity problems. How do you get the visibility up? The problem they had is that the C-suite, the board, wanted to see a trustable fast view of what was happening across the portfolio. So they, they actually brought in a few uh, well-known, I won't mention them, but very well-known global IT organisations to try and solve this problem, and actually they didn't succeed. 
So what's the fundamental issue here? All companies we've ever come across and I've ever come across operate their data gathering and controls in one of two fundamental ways. And usually we end up with a blend of the two. So the first one is the top-down approach, which is you know, there's a decision made to purchase an IT system. It's pushed down through the enterprise. It normally means quite a significant amount of business change to adopt the business to the way the software works and not the other way around. Um, and the business change itself is quite disruptive. So we end up with stakeholders not buying in. The data quality often is a bit um, suspect because people aren't engaged. So um, we end up with not solving the problem of, of, of getting this uh, common data environment. The second mechanism that we'll be familiar with is the bottom-up approach. So this is the spreadsheet nightmare that everybody knows about. Um, spreadsheets won't go away, and, and we know that you know, IT suppliers have been trying to kill off spreadsheets for the last 20 years, and they haven't succeeded. They're the go-to tool. Right? When you want to look at something, you want to do some analysis, you want to do, bring in some data together, out come spreadsheets, a bit of copy and pasting, and, and there's your answer. But of course, that perpetuates a silo problem. So how do we solve this? We need the best of both, right? So the core of our solution is uh, a product platform we call Insight. And Insight is a, is a technology platform. It's cloud-based. But you don't actually see it as such. So Insight understands the key concepts about projects. It understands risks and issues and changes. And it understands dependency management. It understands resources, understands costs and revenues. That's in the core of the product. But we're expecting to tailor that when we go into a client's organization. We know that they're unique. They've got their own objectives that are quite specific to what they're doing. They've got their agendas, they've got their capabilities in-house, they've got their weaknesses and their strengths. We work with a client to understand what is it you want to achieve, in what order, um, and it can be done stepwise, so we can deliver value really, really quickly in as little as three or four weeks. We can have a connected uh, system working, including spreadsheets, as we'll come on to in a minute. This is not a data warehouse. This is not about sucking data out and putting it into a warehouse and bolting on Microsoft BI or AI. You can still do that, but this is about real time. This is about connecting people across the organisation. So you can imagine, you know, you've got a spreadsheet, it's your favourite spreadsheet, you do your thing with that spreadsheet. It's your analysis, you might use it for your local team, but that spreadsheet's got data in it that the organisation needs as well. And that's where the problem lies. And we all know that spreadsheets are not auditable, you get crash files, you don't know who edited them, and, you know, and so on. That's the problem we address. So we build this environment, and the environment is built by taking data from those spreadsheets and from other IT applications. And this is not about a you know, huge blob of data that we mentioned, was talked about earlier, this is about a small data lake, something that's very specific and targeted for a specific organisation, specific needs. Now, so we talked about real-time, but actually, real-time has its problems too. So if you do real-time data and you have that, that real-time data going right up the organisation from the project level to the CEO, transparency means a problem, vulnerability. Immediately make something transparent, the project manager is thinking, as soon as I enter this update my, my project plan, the CEO is going to see it and he's going to be on the phone next week. So the, having a cadence around reporting is still crucial and that gives every person in the reporting chain the opportunity to get their house in order before that data is <coughs> passed up the chain. So people can still log in, they can still see it, but there's a business rule that says you know, until the end of the first week in the month, that month, the project manager's report is not guaranteed to be ready. Okay. And this is exactly the approach we took in Rambo. So the project manager can happily update their, their project dashboard, they can synchronise the spreadsheet, they can work with it, they can share it. They're not worried about sharing the data because they know until you know, the 10th day of the month no one's going to pay much attention to it in terms of knowing it's finished for that month. So, what do we do in Rambo? So, the, the problem in Rambo was really stemming from the project level up. So bearing in mind they had multiple IT systems they had problems trying to integrate even the scheduling information because they had three different planning systems. So Rambo actually created and architected a dashboard, a project dashboard, that was initially built with um, Excel, of course. Um, and they used that, and they shared that amongst the, uh, the project managers for their major projects. This is about 100 or so projects. And that was built in-house. So they took best practice from the APM. They took best practice from around the organisation. They built something that worked exactly for them, and specifically for... This, the senior group director of operations, David Glazier, who wanted to get oversight of those 100 projects, 50 of which were post-contract. And the value here is that oversight enables David and his team to intervene when they see a problem occurring. So rather than waiting until something's exploded and the client is aware, potentially, and the reputational damage could be there, spot it early. It's 10 times less cost to fix the problem that's found that early. 
So we, yeah, we, I said at the bottom here, data connected from other systems, well, almost. So we've, we've connected to other data systems and other clients, but in this case, not yet, because they've got data governance, things they need to tidy up in other systems first to get those consistent. So at the moment, we've got people typing in that data. But that's okay, because it goes into the spreadsheet, the spreadsheet is synchronized. It's a very small amount of extra work. And these are two data anonymized examples of, of the board pack, a couple of the sheets in the board pack that go up to the board in Ramble. These are produced in Excel, as you can see here, and they're exported directly into PowerPoint. The board said, we don't want a spreadsheet. Not even a spreadsheet, they want a PowerPoint. So this is published automatically. So what's the process? How do we get there? What's the journey? So we found, we, we did a, um, a deployment before I founded Greenlight Change in IKEA in Sweden. It was a transformation program. That had about 40 projects, one billion budget, about a five year plan. And they had the same kind of problem arguably potentially worse and more difficult because you've got people in different roles through the organisation with different skill sets. What works for somebody that's taking photographs for the website doesn't work for someone who's running a massive IT project with 3,000 lines of tasks. Okay? You can't run the same thing for both of them. So we realised that was the case in IKEA and we built the system, the predecessor for Insight, to allow them to use Microsoft project plans and to use spreadsheets for planning um, as they gather risks and issues just in, in spreadsheets but the main log was in the database, so it's one central log with all the auditing. So the process is basically analyse, work with the client, decide on what, what they want to achieve, understand the, the uh, steps they want to work in, build it, get it out there, validate it with the client, provide any training that's needed, and it's usually pretty low because they're using their own spreadsheets in many cases, and then switch on the connected system. So one of the, one of the quotes in Rambol that uh, I quite liked, that's kind of a double-edged comment, was, um, Sean, the deployment was so smooth no one noticed. Right. So we, we, we find that this process takes about three to four months. So um, we've done a deployment in a small uh, SME doing um, gas heating services. That was about three months. We did a three-month deployment in IKEA. Uh, Rambo was a little bit longer because it's a bit more complicated. That was four months. Um, but this is, remember, this is all the way to live and working and everybody engaged. I'm sure this is a, bit, a lot of detail here, but if you want to see more detail of this, come and pigeonhole me later on and I'll, I'll bring these up. And I've actually brought real workbooks with me so you can see what's in here. The data's anonymised, it's, you know, you, we can have a look in more detail. But essentially, this, this is just some screenshots from the project level view. So the project manager fills this in. In fact, I don't know if you can see it at the back here, but you know, Rambo had their own navigation system not nicely built into the ribbon here, and all the project manager does is just clicks left to right and then fills in the sheet. And as you can see here, Loads of instructions, again, all provided by Rambold, actually included in the sheets. So open it up, read it, follow the instructions, that's it. And we're finding that training for this is around about 15 or 20 minutes when a new project manager comes on board, how to use it, and then they're off to the races. So very simple. The whole idea of this is to simplify it. So put the complexity into the technology, simplify it for the human beings, make it very easy. And because it's tailored precisely for that client, it's using their terminology, uh, their processes, um, you know, the, people, the stakeholders that they know and so on, all named and built into the system to make it really easy to adapt. So what you're looking at here is a, is a Rambo rendition. We can equally do a rendition for you in your organisation that looks the way you want it to look, including taking in spreadsheets. So this is just an example of some of the reporting sheets and you know, portfolio analysis and a KPI chart there. Again, this is just built in minutes, exported into PowerPoint. And that brings me to the end of my presentation. I'm just going to leave you there with some of the comments that uh, we've had from Rambo. So we've got David Glazy, who's uh, Senior Group Director of Ops, as our senior sponsor. Um, David is absolutely delighted with what we've done. It solved a major problem for him and his immediate boss, who's the CEO. Um, very happy to act as any kind of reference. So David is you know, waxing lyrical about what we've done. And Grant, who's their project excellence lead, has, has really shaped their governance process around their projects. Um, so, yeah, we're very pleased that, that Rambo is very delighted with what we've managed to achieve. Thank you very much.